not touch a Reefa trailer in years. But look, this is what a Reefa is. This is a Reefa trailer. You see this big thing on the front of the trailer? That, that is the refrigerator to make the trailer cold. This is called an IntelliSack. So this button turns it on. And what you want to do before you take the trailer, you want to do a pre-trip to make sure that it works. So you go to menu. You go to pre-trip. Well, you got to scroll up. Click on pre-trip. And it's going to run through all the settings to make sure that it's working. It's going to go through defrost. It's going to check everything to make sure that it's working. Now, when it comes to these reefer trailers, because it's using a motor, this thing runs off of fuel. So you want to make sure you got enough fuel to run your trip. This is a little bit past half a tank for this trailer. So I'm doing a local run. I can do this. And on some of these reefer trailers, they got what's called a right way. And on these right ways, just like you have gauges inside the truck that can measure the drive axles, which is those two sets of wheels. This can measure your tandems to see how much weight is on these two sets of wheels. So that I wish they would put right weight even on dry vans, but they only on I've only seen them on reefer trailers. It is hot as St. Luther's, whatever hell that is got. You can barely breathe. But you got a little bit more work cut out for you when you drive reefer. That's why I never went back to reefer. I pretty much haven't touched a reefer since my prime days. I have not touched a reefer since my prime days. It's been five years since I've done any reefer of any sort. But when you when you securing the loads down, instead of using straps, you want to actually use load bars because in these reefer trailers, I'm gonna show you on the next video. On these reefer trailers, they don't have uh, parts where you can connect your strap so you got to use load bars to secure the load but I can't open that door because if I open the door I'm going to mess up the pre-trip but yeah reefer trailers are definitely different from drive-in trailers